comrades, there is one statement that we have put out clearly today. And that statement is that our president does not speak for us. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. We are saying it loud and clear that we cannot be part of an apartheid system no. and we cannot support the occupation of the Palestinian lands. Never! It is important that our elected officials, whether they are parliamentarians, presidents, ministers or whatever, should listen to the voice of the people of Ghana. Yes. That is our message. Yes. This demonstration is only the beginning of many, many more to come. And many, many struggles to wage until Palestine is finally free. Yes. Next Sunday, the people of Nima will be organizing another demonstration. Let us all support them in the manifestation of solidarity with the Palestinian people who have suffered for 75 long years. The dream of destroying any resistance movement will only remain a dream. The genocide which is being committed in Palestine today is creating many, many, many more resistance fighters. And the resistance fighters will be created until the bells of victory finally ring. And the bells of victory will surely ring. Yes. Sure. On behalf of the organizers of this manifestation, I'd like to thank all of you, those who came from near and those who came from far, for participating in this heroic manifestation. This is a manifestation which makes it clear loud that we will always stand with justice. We say in this manifestation that Palestine would never, 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 never be defeated. Never, never, never. never. And we say in this manifestation that just like Hitler's regime collapsed, just like apartheid collapsed, the Zionists in Israel will collapse and they will never wake up. We are not here to mourn the martyrs of the struggle. We are not here to mourn the children who have been killed. We are not here just to mourn the mothers who have been killed. We are here to make a statement that we will stop the killing and stop it forever. That is the statement we want to make. And we want all of us gathered here on December 7th, 2024, when you go to vote for leaders, think wisely and vote for leaders who stand for justice, yes. not leaders who stand with Israel. Yes. Don't vote for leaders who stand with Ukraine. It has nothing to do with that. Vote for leaders who are sensible, leaders who stand for the cause of the Palestinian people. Vote for leaders who stand with all of us in solidarity yes. in the quest for justice. Yes. In this upcoming election, we have had many, many people campaigning on religious grounds. And you know them. They are campaigning on religious grounds. And yet when churches are bombed in Palestine, they remain silent. When mosques are bombed in Palestine, they remain silent. Their silence will deny them votes. Their silence will kill their political ambitions. And we will make sure of that. Comrades and friends, we will meet again. We will meet again on Sunday in the demonstration being organized by residents of Nima. And we will meet again and again. And the struggle will succeed. 